Hi, I'm Scott Barker from Improvada, a trusted Citrix Ready partner. I'm here with Tom Kahlo from St. Mary's. Uh, Tom, you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Hi, my name is Tom Kahlo. I'm a solution engineer at St. Mary's Health System in Waterbury, Connecticut. We're a 347-bed uh, hospital with Catholic care. We, um, we are 100% trained in high reliability, every employee. So Tom, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit more about St. Mary's. What really sets the organization apart as a hospital? Well, we, it's all about every patient every day and the caring, like I said, the 100% reliability. Every employee had to go and get trained so we all understand how to ha handle the whole system across all you know, levels of care. Great. And uh, tell us a little bit about the IT department and how it's kind of evolved over the past couple years. So in the IT department, you know, we used to explain more, you know, we, we would dictate how the users had to use the systems. And now today with consumerization and IT, we have to, you know, with the needs of the users and give them what they want. And we try to do that in a secure way. So how does your organization actually perceive the role of IT to be, uh, what role should it play in driving, uh, driving healthcare, uh, tra the transformation of healthcare? Um, well, like I said, you know, they, giving the users what they need and bringing in their own devices, we have to be able to support everything that they bring in the, through the doors these days. Instead of stopping them and banning things and saying no, we have to you know, allow that to be in there so we could use it to you know, treat patients. And um, how, are you, how are you empowering clinicians to get the fast, fast access to they need to patient information? You know, we were using uh, roaming desktops uh, years ago, and we were having issues with them knowing how to disconnect and reconnect their desktops when they move between devices. So we started to use uh, OneSign to, you know, help them so they could just badge in and badge out quickly. So uh, you know, speeds them up in getting around. Also protects the patient information that could be left up on the screen when they run away quickly. You know, to take care of a patient. So. Um, any lessons learned in building that out, building out that architecture that you could kind of pass along to anyone else? Um, the important thing was making sure the users knew how to use the technology. If we, you know, just set it up and didn't go over it with them, you know, they didn't understand it. So we spent a lot of time roaming around the floors, making sure they were using it the proper way. You know, if, if they didn't understand how to use the technology, just forced at them, they, you know, it wouldn't be successful with us. So we spent a lot of time with the users. Sure. And, and what did you do specifically to ensure clinician buy-in up front at the beginning of the project? So uh, last summer we had to put in a physician documentation system and the doctors told us that the only way they would allow that where they use drag and dictation is that we needed one sign on the computer so they could quickly roam. They weren't going to you know, have to you put in multiple passwords so they had to have single sign-on authentication management. They basically demanded it. We had to get it in before we rolled out the, uh, the physician documentation system. Great, and uh, you know what? What clinician, IT, and business advantages have come out of the approach that you've taken here? Uh, anything unexpected, or anything that's kind of helped you address meaningful use requirements, or anything that you, you didn't foresee at the beginning of the project? Um, well, when we rolled out the one sign, we started to realize that a lot of physicians were trying to text each other and be, you know, rapidly communicating. So the next thing we decided we needed to do was get Cortex, so we could do secure texting of patient information. You know, we knew that they were going to do that at home. So again, bringing that consumerization into work to see how they could quickly communicate. You know, we decided to put secure texting after that. We discovered that when we were ro rolling out one sign that we needed to secure the texting. So we did that with uh, Cortex. Great, and uh, you know what lies ahead for the organization? Any specific future technologies you're looking into to improve clinical workflows or change the way that care is provided? So the next thing we're doing in the next stage of meaningful use is we're going to do uh, EPCS. So we're going to um, again, like one sign, we made it easy for them to roam. We don't want to make uh, prescribing with two-form authentication difficult. So we're going to look to use Confirm ID with the hands-free um, tokens so they could quickly prescribe medication. Again, we want to make it all easy for them to use. They use one sign to quickly roam and single sign on. They use Cortex to securely text and not try to, you know, not put the patient name in, you know, so they could give the complete information so the safety is there. And then confirm ID to give the uh, prescriptions. They'll be able to quickly do that with a uh, two-form authentication with uh, confirm ID. Awesome. Um, anything else you want to add, Tom, about the uh, the deployment, uh, your Citrix environment? Um, any other color commentary to add to the uh, to the story here today? Yeah, you know, so years ago we were using Citrix Zen app and we were roaming their applications. Now we're going to start doing Citrix Zen desktop. So for the power user, the physician, we're going to give them that full desktop experience because the applications that we know about, but they also are going to a lot of websites and they want to be able to roam their websites. So we're going to do that with Zen desktop to give them a full desktop instead of application roaming. So that's the next thing we'll be doing with that. 
uh, I'd imagine they're pretty happy with that. They are very happy with that. They see myself using it and a couple other people, and they just want it right away. So, you know, again, they, when they want something, we have to react quickly to them. And when we do that, it makes them happy. Great. Well, uh, thanks for your time today, Tom. Uh, so, again, I'm Scott Barker from Improvada here at Citrix Synergy. Um, thank you very much, Tom.